This is an example to show the sensitivity of a strain gauge. And here we have an example. It's got a CEA series strain gauge uh, bonded onto it. And when we go through the calculations, we find that the micro strain expected is 1,113 and uh, uses a, the strain gauge has a gauge factor of 2.120. So now we're going to take it and we're going to test it. And we're going to connect it into a model P3 strain indicator. This is a going to be connected as a three-wire quarter bridge and we're going to balance the indicator out to zero and then we're also going to set the sensitivity of the gauge factor for the strain gauge. We'll input that into the P3 to be the 2.120 and now you can see we're at a good zero condition. We take our two kilogram weight, we put it on the end of it and we're expecting 1,113 and once we let go of the weight, uh, we get exactly that. So this is uh, showing an example of the capability of an electrical resistant strain gauge. We take a 20 gram weight, put it on the end of it, and that's generating right at 11 microstrain. A 10 gram weight would generate about five and a half. And again, now we're running into the resolution of the box. A uh, five gram weight should generate somewhere between two and a half to three microstrain. And you can see that the unit's flashing between that. And then we've got a little one gram weight and that's gonna generate about a half of a microstrain, which is really below the resolution of the box with its current setup. Now, one of the games you can play with the P3 is you can dial in the gauge factor. Remember, we dialed it into 2.120, but what we're going to do now is shift it by one digit. So instead of 2.12, it's going to be 0.212, and effectively what that does is it gives us 10 times the amount of resolution. So we'll balance it again to zero. And now we put our 20 gram weight on it, and we see that we get 11. Point zero or 11.1 .1 microstrain. We also see with the 10 gram weight we get uh, about five and a half. The next one we're getting and we were expecting 2.75 we got 2.7 and then finally with the one gram weight we're right at that 0.5 microstrain type level. So this gives you an indication of not only the resolution of the blue box which is our P3 strain indicator but also the resolution and capability of the electrical resistant strain gauge. And there we have, we just put a small screw on it and we're at about a tenth of a micro strain. And notice the stability of the P3, it's excellent. Again, if we take it off, we can see excellent zero return. So these are all indications of, of a well-bonded strain gauge and how well they can perform. And thank you for taking the time to watch.